Hi, welcome to Nautical Knitter Designs. This is our chart reading video number one, Every Other Row Chart. If you haven't already, you need to download the PDF file that is in the blog post that has to do with this video. It will help you know, understand what the chart symbols mean, and it'll give you a little more information about what we're, what we're talking about. So you'll have that at home to work with later after you're finished with the video. You can always come back and view the video as many times as you like, and we hope you enjoy it. There are basically three types of charts for knitting. There's the chart that is every other row, there is the chart that is every row flat, and there's another one that is every row circular. Today we're dealing with the chart that is the every other row chart, and I'll explain that. An every other row chart is a chart for knitting that has every other row charted. Every other row then is left out. So in this case we've charted the odd rows. The even rows are left out because the even rows are all the same. They're called return rows and you knit back across the back of your piece. This is for a flat knitted piece with a right side and a wrong side. Here we have an example of an every other row chart. All charts for knitting are, you start in the bottom right hand corner, they're all written for right handed people. <clears throat> you start in the bottom right hand corner and you knit across. You knit row by row starting at the bottom. This every other row chart is called that because it's every other row is charted. Row 1 is charted, row 2 is not, row 3 is charted, row 5, row 7, row 9, etc. What you want to do is you want to start down here in the bottom right hand corner and you want to do exactly what each square says going across just as if you're knitting across in your hand. After you've knit a few rows to, to form a base for, you, for this exercise you want to start with the chart that you have and start with row 1 in the bottom right hand corner. You want to knit the first stitch, do a yarn over, slip one knit one, pass the slip stitch over, knit one, knit two together, yarn over, and knit one. You should be at the end of the row by that time. After you've done those stitches, your return row is not charted because all of the return rows, all of the even rows are the same. And I believe on your sheet it says to knit one, purl across, knit the last one. So we want to do that. After you've done that, that was row two. So then you want to start on row three. You want to knit one, knit another one. You want to yarn over. Then you want to slip one, knit two together, pass the slip stitch over, yarn over, and knit two to the end. Then you do your return row exactly like you did row two. Row four and row two are the same. That's why they're not charted. The chart would be very, very big if you charted the rows that are all the same. After you've completed this chart up through row nine, row nine you notice is just all knit stitches. If you want to continue this exercise and continue practicing you want to start back at row 1 after you do row 10. So you do your even row after every odd row. So you'll do 9, you'll do 10 just like your other even rows, and then you'll start back at 1 again and read the chart again from the bottom. So when you're reading a knitting chart, you want to deal with only one row at a time. You don't want to look at the whole chart. That can be quite overwhelming. You want to just look at the first row and knit that one and then do your return row, work with the next row. A lot of people use tape or uh, a magnet or something to hide the row they've just done or to hide the rows above because you're not really looking at those, you're not dealing with those. They really don't matter. All you're dealing with is the row that you're currently working on. We hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions or comments please let us know by going to the knitwith.us website and leaving us a comment. We like to hear from you, and we hope you would check out our other videos. Uh, there's soon to come some more chart reading videos for you, and some other surprises as well. Enjoy!